Hi, this is Mark from Wiki Design. In this quick Elementor tutorial, I'm going to show you a way to fix the equal height of your containers when using the loop grid. So in this example, I'm going to show you we have a two column layout and we have the regular loop grid and we have this setting on right here called equal height. So you may have switched that on and depending on how you have everything laid out, it might not function the way you want. So let me show you the issue we ran into and how you can fix this. So the problem is when you enable that equal height, what Elementor is doing is taking the height of your tallest uh, loop right here, and then it's applying it to the same height of all of them. So let me show you an example. I believe this one right here, number four, is the tallest one. So what it's doing is if you scroll down to number five and six down here, it's got this weird gap right here. So what it's doing is taking, like I said, taking the height of your tallest one and applying it to all of them. In order to fix this, you just got to do two things. So I'm going to walk you through that right now. The first step we need to do is actually turn off equal height. So you can just go ahead and hit update on your grid now. And now I'm going to jump into this loop template and then we just need to do two different things. And the very first thing is whichever uh, widget it is that's going to be more dynamic. So in the height of this right here, this is just the post uh, content. And then if you go underneath advanced, this right here underneath size, you want to click that to grow. So what that's going to do is just like it says, it's going to grow and fill the rest of that container and then push the button to the bottom. So that's probably in most cases how you want your loop grid to look. So you want to have your uh, post content kind of always being pushed down as far as it can. And the last thing we need to do is actually just add a little bit of CSS to your main container. So as you can see, we just have the one container. I got the featured image, the title, the content, the buttons, you know, really standard stuff. So what you need to do is go underneath the container that you want to make sure it's going to be full height. Go underneath custom CSS and just drop this in right here. Selector height 100%. Very simple. So now when you do that, and let's go to the front end of this website and hit refresh. So as you can see right here, five and six no longer have that weird gap. So every one of these is now going to take on the height of the containers it's kind of sitting next to. So you no longer, like I said, are going to have these weird gaps. And that's it for this quick Elementor tutorial. Make sure you give this video a like, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and hit that bell to receive notifications when I release new tutorials like this. Again, this is Mark from Wiki Design.